angle properties of triangles. In this lesson, we will list the four properties of angles of triangles. We will then go through a few examples to illustrate how these properties are used to solve geometric problems. Property 1. The sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. The sum of angles A, B and C is 180 degrees. These are two examples. Property 2. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. What is an exterior angle? If any side of a triangle is extended, two additional angles are seen, a straight angle and another. The other angle, angle D, is referred to as the exterior angle. The rule says that this angle is equal to the opposite interior angles. Thus, angle D is equal to angle A added to angle C. Property 3. The sum of the three exterior angles of a triangle is equal to 360 degrees. Property 4. In an isosceles triangle, if a perpendicular line is drawn from the base to the apex, the base and the angle at the apex are bisected. To bisect is to split into two equal parts. That is, the two angles formed at the apex are equal and the base now comprises two shorter lines of equal length. Of course, this can be extended to equilateral triangles considering any one of the three equal angles as the apex. These are four properties of the angles of triangles. When combined with our knowledge from the previous video, can be used to solve geometric problems. Pay particular attention to the following examples. In some of these, we could have incorporated the properties of lines and angles. I will not use them in these examples because I want to emphasize the properties of the angles of triangles. Example 1. What are the values of x and y? The sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 100 degrees plus 30 degrees plus x degrees is equal to 180 degrees. It follows that x is equal to 180 degrees minus 100 degrees minus 30 degrees. X is equal to 50 degrees. Y is an exterior angle to this triangle. The exterior angle is equal to the two opposite interior angle in a triangle. Therefore, angle Y is equal to 100 degrees plus 30 degrees. Angle Y is equal to 130 degrees. Example 2. What are the values of X and Y? For clarity, let us name this triangle. A, B, C, D. Considering this inner scaling triangle to the top, triangle A, B, D. All the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, so 40 degrees plus 15 degrees plus Y degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Thus, angle Y is equal to 180 degrees, subtract 40 degrees, subtract 15 degrees. Angle Y is equal to 125 degrees. Consider the outer triangle ABC. The total angle at B, this angle ABC, can be calculated given the information we have. We know that the three angles in this big triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So this angle here at B, this total angle here at B, added to 40 degrees at A and 90 degrees at C would give 180 degrees. Thus, angle A, B, C is equal to 180 degrees, subtract 40 degrees, 
subtract 90 degrees. Angle ABC is equal to 50 degrees. Angle ABC is this angle here, from here to here. Given that angle ABC is equal to 50 degrees, the entire angle, and we know that this part is equal to 15 degrees, then the other part must be equal to 50 degrees minus 15 degrees. Angle X is equal to 50 degrees, the total angle at B. Subtract 15 degrees. Angle X is equal to 35 degrees. There's a second way to find angle X. Considering triangle BCD, angle Y is an exterior angle to triangle BCD. Thus, this exterior angle, which we now know to be 125 degrees, is equal to the opposite interior angles. Angle Y, 125 degrees, is equal to 90 degrees plus X. Thus, X would be equal to 125 degrees subtract 90 degrees. Angle X is equal to 35 degrees. Example 3. What is the value of X? An exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. This triangle is an isosceles triangle. The two equal sides are here and here. Therefore, the two angles opposite to these two sides are equal. So if this angle is X, it means that this angle is X as well. These two angles are the same. Since this exterior angle is equal to these two interior angles, it means that X plus X is equal to 100 degrees. Given that X is equal to 50 degrees. Example 4. What are the values of X, Y, and Z? In this question, I will name the triangle for clarity. Call this vertex A, this one B, C, and D. The angles opposite the equal sides in the triangle are equal. In triangle ABC, these two sides are equal. Thus, angle X and angle ABC are equal. Thus, X is equal to 70 degrees. Angle Y, the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Thus, 70 degrees plus X plus Y would give 180 degrees. We know the value of X, so we can find out the value of Y. The value of Y is equal to 180 degrees subtract 70 degrees, the angle ABC, subtract angle X, which we know to be 70 degrees. Angle Y is equal to 40 degrees. Angle X is the exterior angle to triangle ACD. Thus, angle X, which we know to be 70 degrees, is equal to the two opposite interior angles, angle Z and angle CAD. Angle Z and angle CAD are equal because triangle ACD is an isosceles triangle with these two sides being equal and thus these two angles being equal. So therefore, angle CAD is exactly the same as angle ADC. So angle CAD is equal to Z as well. We get that angle Z added to angle Z is equal to angle X. Angle X is equal to 70 degrees. This gives that angle Z is equal to 35 degrees. Example 5. What is the value of X? A, B, C, D. Angle B 
is equal to 50 degrees because we have an isosceles triangle with these two sides being equal and thus this angle and this angle being equal. Therefore, the entire angle, angle BAD, can be worked out. Because the three angles in this big triangle, ABD, add up to 180 degrees. Seeing that angle BAD is equal to 180 degrees minus 50 degrees minus 50 degrees. Angle BAD is equal to 80 degrees. When a perpendicular line is drawn from the base to the apex of an isosceles triangle, the angle at the apex is bisected. So we know that angle X is half of angle BAD. So we can write that angle X is equal to 80 degrees divided by 2. Angle X is equal to 40 degrees. Of course, this is a perpendicular line from the base to the apex. So this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. With that knowledge, considering triangle ACD, given that the three angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees, we could have worked out X this way. Angle X is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees at C minus 50 degrees at D. Using the second method, we'd also find out that angle X is equal to 40 degrees. I am Mr. Dubé. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.